I'm Heinbach. After the last video that I posted here, the track Bleach Debris, where I used the Folktech modded Omnicord OM84, Reddit user OGFrank17 asked what are the differences between a normal Omnicord OM84 and the Folktech modded OM84. So I'm going to go into details what these mods do, what you win, but also what you lose. So let's look at the mods that Folktech add to this machine. The first row produces organ-like tones. Very simple, kind of 8-bit sounds. The second row produces rhythms, which you can add up. And when you go higher, you turn into bass notes. This will become especially interesting once we check out the amp points. Which third row. A rather soft and mellow tone. Which tends to sound good once you play more of them together. And then my favorite row, the last row. It's just a very sad sounding, very deep uh, kind of string sound with a really soft attack and decay, which is pretty perfect for most of the scoring that I do. So if we add in the second note. The LFO second sound, which you get on the OM84. gets even more emotional. Before I go to the amp points, I want to show you the pitch knob. You can lower and raise pitch. And the way that it does that sounds really lovely broken. And when you go really down, you get into unstable territory. So it just starts playing melodies on its own. And the lower section turns from a violin to something more cello-like. You can hear how the beat speeds up and speeds down because I think these are just divisions of the main oscillator. So once the pitch gets unstable, uh, it speeds up and speeds down. So let's get the pitch into more manageable territory before I show you the amp points. These work great with this section. Add some more complexity. some mid-range bongo sound and a bass drum.
Now let's play the lower notes. They pulse with the rhythm. I just love the combination of that. There's so much you can do, especially once you put in the usual effects like a delay pedal or something. It goes endless. You lose two things with the Folktech Omnichord that are great on the original Omnichord. So a nice way to play it is holding it like this, which looks nice on stage because everybody can see, oh, we've got a crazy strange instrument, which looks sort of future retro. And this is portable because it runs on batteries. The Folktech Omnichord has all its mods stored in the battery compartment. So no battery power anymore. So you need to find an external battery solution if you want to carry it around. But then this playing style, because of all the touch plates, is really difficult. So because your fingers always come close to the touch plates, and especially with the amp plates, that can result in some heavy farting sounds. So... I would not recommend playing it like this, but rather flat on a table or something. Also because you can, you want really like three hands to play this properly. Or put, I don't know, sausages on there to sustain the notes. Or just use a looper, which is also a simple idea. So in conclusion. The Folktech Omnichord is a much more complex instrument than the original Omnichord. All these mods open it up to different playing styles. You can do a world of sweet strings, angelic noises, deep distortions, tiny tiny rhythms that go deeper and deeper and deeper, all with your hands and simple movements. The original Omnichord, however, is something you can just give someone and play and accompany uh, themselves by and it's much easier to get into. So it's good having both. Bye for now. Uh, this was the first time I did something like that. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun experience for me. Bye.